hello, hello, you guys. Welcome to Product Focus Friday, the only second one that I've done all month long. I really apologize. Uh, December is busy. December, I also enjoy just enjoying my family. So it's kind of a month off. I create when I can. It's not usually a regular thing, but I thought um, end of the month, I would bring in on my December daily process. So this is what I like to do. So this year, I I don't remember how much I've showed you or told you. I'm using Citrus Twist um, kit and their Life Crafted album. I have got a black one. I created uh, this cover page for Confessions of a Paper Addict, the 20 Days of Cut Files when we were doing that. I then um, took, um, so I have the Citrus Twist, the Life Crafted uh, kit, which was, uh, the stamp market exclusive paper um, with um, embellishments and things from Citrus Twist. Awesome. Then they also had a 12 by 12 kit, which I love their kits. I love their kits. I wish I could just buy them all. Um, I almost did this year. And so now I'm on a break and I need to use them up so I can buy more. <laughs> um, but I really like the way they do their kits because they include a bunch of different collections. They mix and match and then they include their own exclusive stuff too. So I love Citrus Twist kits. Anywho, so I decided for my December daily, I was going to do um, shapes this year, this, to have a theme, to have something to focus on for building the pages because I don't have my pictures printed, but I wanna get some pages done and it give me a place to start and something to do. So I'm starting with shapes. So I've got uh, my day one, I've got this pocket. I also recently, which I ended up not doing a haul video because it came so late, but the second half of my Ally Edwards order did arrive. I got all her tags um, from December Daily of this year. I got a bunch of her December Daily um, papers. It came with transparency, transparencies as well, and they all fit in the Life Crafted album like a glove. Uh, so this is my day one. And then I'm using uh, these wooden numbers from Shadney Shop for day one. Um, so day one, and this is going to have a photo of my son and his advent calendar, and the shape is a rectangle. Um, and then inside, I'm going to do tags, and I toyed with different ideas of how to do tags, but I have Allie Edwards tags here. I'm going to trim them all down. I'm going to back this one and glue these ones together and this is where I'm just gonna put all the photos of all his advent calendar um, goodies on here so we do Lego advent calendar so all so I'm gonna have little I'm gonna have four photos on each page um, of this tag so we're gonna make a mini tag album that's gonna slide in here today that's what I'm gonna do but I just wanted to show you so then I have these fun things um, from Ally Edwards as well so I can do journaling. I'll back this today probably. This is day two. I made this gorgeous shaker pocket. This is a heart from Ally Edwards Digital. I cut it twice and then I filled it with some Spiegel Mom sequence, uh, Spiegel Mom scrap sequence as well as um, did some um, vellum. So that'll be day two. And then day three I've already created this flap um, where my journaling will be in here and it's a bird or cardinal is the shape for day three. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do for day four. See, I have nothing else done, but I started planning as the month went on, I started planning out and figuring out what shapes I wanted for each day. But I figured I should at least let you in on a little bit of what's going on. And then I think a lot of my other content um, will be in my members only section. So I'm going to have membership. It's dirt cheap penny for your thoughts um it's going to be very cheap i'm not trying to exploit or anything i just don't know with december over i don't know how much people want to keep watching people do december daily stuff so i don't want to flood my um flood my channel with this stuff when it doesn't necessarily need to be there and that way if you want to see it you can you can go see it um I also am trying to stash bash and do all of those things. New uh, series starts tomorrow with Rebecca or Becky as she actually likes to be called. Uh, and you guys will see that. A lot of stash smashing um, is the plan. So lots of spending freeze this year. <laughs> I'm not going to spend anything until I make a big dent on what I've got. And that's going to take a lot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and make 
let's get started and make this tag album. All right, so this ended up being um, a little trickier than I thought it would be. <sighs> washi tape. Washi tape failed me. So I didn't start out with a thick enough, like a wide enough washi tape, I think was my problem. Otherwise, this would have been perfect. Um, so I just lined up the three tags that are all going to be on the same side. I'm going to washi tape them together and then do the same with the other side and then literally glue them together. And now what I should have done right away is probably score each um, joiner uh, with the washi tape. But also, like I said, the washi tape was not very wide. So, and since I didn't, I wasn't really good about lining them up. Some of them get lined up with like a little bit of one side and most of the washi tape on the other. Um, otherwise, it was, this is a great way to do it. Great way to do it. Uh, but yeah, my washi tape was just not wide enough. So if I would have started with the gold washi tape that I end up using on the outside, it probably would have been fine. Or a wider washi tape in general um, on the outside. So look at there, it looks gorgeous already. So I'm gonna trim down the excess of the other one and punch the hole and then I'm gonna start folding it up and that's when one, um, one half or one tag pair comes undone. And I futz with it for a while. I cut it out of me futzing with it. Ultimately, I end up getting out my scoreboard, scoring it and it helped, but now the wash tape is out and I had to try and re-glue it and open it up. And it was just, it was just kind of like a mess. So I added some liquid glue between the layers, between the two, um, the sandwich of uh, tags. And I end up deciding I need wash tape on the outside to hold this thing together. It's not, it's not gonna stay together. I already screwed it up. It's gonna buck, it's gonna be fussy now. So I decided to grab this wider gold washi tape and I end up liking this. Like it, it adds something to it. And so I washi tape all the joins again and then also the ends so that it all kind of meets or, or um, is cohesive. So it all looks good. And then, uh, and then I score it a little bit too just to make sure that it's going to bend and then it folds properly and stays together. So now I shouldn't have a problem. <laughs> but I wanted to leave most of that in there to show you. Um, yeah, use a wider washi tape if you're gonna do something like this, especially something that's gonna be bending a lot. I highly recommend a wide washi tape so that you have more connection on both sides of your seam. Um, yeah, so did that and then I went ahead and I was gonna tie it together and then I remembered on the bag for my Citrus Twist kit, the Mary, I think it's called Marion Bright, they made this kit, um, there was this really cute tag and um, die cut embossed little leaf and so I'm actually gonna tie that just to the top um, tag so that when it's sticking out of the pouch you have this beautiful thing and it has a jingle bell on it too. So I'm taking off the bag and then I'm going to tie it on to my tag and then tuck it into the pocket and voila there you have it. So that is all I have for you guys for Product Focus Friday this month. Again I apologize for not having a lot of content for that. Look forward to more uh, next month January New Year. I have goals goals goals. I'm hoping <laughs> to be better about it. So we will see you next Friday for an intro to what we're going to play with in January in 2022. Thanks guys. Bye.